Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Undertide, where uh, we're killing golems. Surprisingly effectively, too, actually. Um, how much experience are we getting for killing these golems? Out of curiosity. Uh, 150 each. Well, it's not bad, I guess. I sort of expected more, though, actually. Um, we are 2,000 or so, just shy of 2,000 um, experience points away from, from level 10 as well, which is not bad. Level 10. Level 10. No, I never. I don't think I ever managed to get a D&D character to level 10 back in my third edition days. Not even once. We had a weird habit of constantly making new characters all the time. Um... Where? What? Where has my dire wolf gone? What? what? He just wandered off for no reason. Oh no! There you, there you are. Just, you were walking off down anyway. Continuing on. East fragment. East fragment. Okay, maybe that wasn't a door to the east fragment. We should probably go check it out. I was convinced that was a door to the east fragment, but it's actually not. Because that's the door to the East Fragment over there. What's in here then? Probably spiders. What am I saying? Of course it's probably spiders. Um, I like the instant jump back from the door there, Vera. That was, um... Couldn't have done that better myself. What have we got? Oh! I knew it! I knew it! And I've been poisoned. And screw you, spiders. Up with that, I will not put. That is some... I've said it before, and I'll say it again. That's some Dark Souls level nonsense right there. And I, I will not stand for it. There they are. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, it's dead. Good. Well done, everyone. Alright. I'm gonna have to rest anyway, because Deacon's poisoned. But oh well. Ice Talon. Weapons of this type are technically impossible, since their blades are made of nothing but razor-sharp ice crystals. Most sages agree they are kept frozen by some sort of link to the inner planes, but this is ultimately just a speculation. Ice Talon daggers show a jagged blade and may have been part of a single larger weapon at one time, though the force required to shatter the magic blade must have been enormous indeed. There's a dagger, the plus two enhancement bonus and a damage bonus of 1d6 cold damage. It's not terrible, I guess. I could give it to Deacon. I'll probably just sell it though, if I'm honest. Right, Deacon, are you still. Yeah, he's still probably got some. Uh... Billy, yeah. He's strength three right now, poor fella. Let's sort that out, shall we? I don't know if using a healer kit could get rid of that, perhaps, but. Seems like a waste of a healing kit to me, to be honest with me. Uh, to be honest with me, to be honest with you, dear viewer watching this, I'm not talking to myself at all. No, no, sir. I would just be daft, that would. Imagine that, making a living of talking to yourself while playing video games, eh? Who, who'd do that? Mugs game, if you ask me. Anyway. Um, let's continue. Uh, what do we reckon? More, more spiders or maybe beetles for a change of pace? Maybe another golem, actually. This looks like it might be golem territory. Oh, that's what I thought. All right. Is he already coming at us? He flipping is. Um, all right. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. Um, 
based on you, Deacon. It's injured. Might be dead by the time I do this such a transformation, to be honest with you. Um, although my familiar is now dead, so I better do this right now. Or he squishes the wolf as well. He just squished the wolf. All right, see if we can finish him off at least. Near death. Still near death. At least Deacon's good getting some hits in, even if we're not. And he's down. Phew. The Vera Hulk triumphs once again. Shame they don't drop any cool loot, but uh, what are you going to do, I suppose? Resting, resting, resting. Welcome to Rest Simulator 2002. Um. Large and identified shield. Looks like it's a large shield plus three. I wonder. You know what, though? Deacon, honestly, at the minute, is probably much better off with his crossbow. He seems to do much better with his crossbow. So I think we'll leave him with his crossbow instead of trying to do any shield shenanigans. We'll hold on to the shield, though, and sell it because it's a plus three damn goddamn shield, and, uh, you know, it's freaking valuable. It would indeed appear as well we're stuck with Deacon at this point. If I wanted to go back and get Xenos, it would be too late. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I feel very glad that we didn't go back and get Xanos when I was in the ruins earlier. Because it would mean that we would never be able to see Deacon again. Because we wouldn't be able to go back and get him at this point. So, uh, yeah. Good thing I didn't cave there and go get Xanos. Otherwise, no more Deacon. And let's be honest, Deacon... Deacon's doing pretty good, all things considered. For a bard in, in the company of a sorcerer, Deacon's doing quite well. Um, yes, well. Get out of your way, shall I? There we go. Right. Back out in the corridor. And this leads to the West Fragment. Well, not been here yet. Ooh, this, this corridor has spiders written all over it. No? Okay. Let's go check out the West Fragment. And spiders. Get away from me! Get away! Oh, we've got beetles as well. Kill this one? Thank you. Well done. Alright, we've survived. Arcanist's Tower. Also, spitting fire beetle. I, uh... Luckily, the beetles are really no big deal at all. But, uh, yeah, the spiders are. Spiders are, I think, definitely up there in the. Uh, in the video game pantheon of of uh, horrid enemy types, um, the obvious examples being blokes armed with big shields um, and invisible bl and, and invisible guys as well. You know, I like to call them gits collectively: shield gits, invisible gits, spider gits. Oh my God, can we kill these, please?
You have a beetle on its back, guys. You can finish it off. There we go. I'm trying to think what some of the other gits are. Um... But I can't off the top of my head. I need to go back over here and rest. Quite possibly. Now we'll just go back into this area. Um, yeah, shield gets, spider gets. Although spider gets, I suppose, might fall under the greater category of poison gets. To be fair, but yeah, you get your invisible gets, stealth gets. You know, they're more or less one and the same. Whether that be invisible guys in a first-person shooter, or in your RPG where you have your rogues that just appear beside you out of nowhere, for example, and then disappear. Um, Arcanist Tower. Yes, 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 yes. Well, um, this looks like it's probably a golem in here. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say there is a golem in here. I'm pretty sure there is. So, um, we'll do the cloak switcheroo. And um, we'll get buffing. Yield. Brings our AC up to 18, which will increase a hell of a launch for an Umber Hulk form. Um, and then haste. And one for you as well. And one for you, Deacon. And now. Vera Hulk! The incredible Vera Hulk! Hello! I, I knew you'd be in here! Should I, I, I just move past so the other guys can get in here? There we go. Colin is amazingly uninjured still. I really should try out the troll form at some point, I suppose, but Umberhog's just so much fun. Three, four, five, uh, yup, that'd be five golems. We is halfway through, Vera Blake, huzzah! Excellent news, eh? What? What do we have here? Wishing wells. We've got nothing in them. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if, uh... Threw a gold piece into the wishing well? Nothing? Oh, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna go scoop it back out again. I might summon some sort of angry spirit. <laughs> you know what these places are like. Okay. That would take us to the North Fragment. I don't believe we've been there before. Now be careful. Ah! I knew it! I knew it! Oh! We did not just level up. Oh my god! Yes! And we're paralyzed. Brilliant. Got to put this back on. Alright. Let's level up before we rest. Okay, so. Five remaining points. More concentration is always good. Um, more heal. Loads more. I'm just going to dump it all into heal, honestly. Um. Fifth level spells! Oh yeah! Okay, what do we got to play with? 
Um, do we get any more other spells, or is this just one of those levels where we go? Yeah, I thought so. Animate dead. Animate dead summons a fourth an undead minion. The type of undead summoned is dependent on the caster level. Levels 1 to 5, a tyrant fog zombie. 6 to 9, a skeletal warrior. 10 or more skeletal chieftain. Yeah. Now here's the thing. Oh, this battle music is so obnoxiously loud. Um... Is that cast level as in spell level type thing? Or is it cast level as in like the actual level of character side thing? Because we're level 10, in which case it should be a skeletal chieftain. Which would be pretty cool. Although I don't know if I can summon the dire, dire wolf and the skeletal chieftain at the same time. I don't think I can. So I might avoid that. There's Big B's Interposing Hand, which I actually have a scroll for. Which is pretty good. It's cloud kill. Oh, that's a mighty fine spell from what I remember. Billowing cloud of noxious vapors settles over the area. Its effects vary according to the hit dice of the affected creatures. Um one to three hit dice, instant death, four to six hit dice, fortitude save, or death, over six hit dice, one d ten damage around. Oh my. Cone of cold, ball lightning. That could do 10d6 damage, I think. It all depends on the definition of caster level. Dismissal. All summoned creatures, animal companions, and familiars belong to an enemy spell casters are unsummoned within an area of effect. Pretty cool, but meh. extremely situational. Dominate person. Energy buffer. Evil mind. Firebrand. Rate of Shadow Conjuration, Hold Monster, Lesser Mind Blank. Lesser Planar Binding? Oh, you can summon a Planar Ally. Um, spell Mantle. Mestal's Acid Sheath. Mind Fog. Summon creature five. Oh, dire bear. Oh, dire bear. Now, the ones that stand out to me are dire bear, cloud kill, ball lightning, perhaps, and Bigby's interposing hand. First of all, though, I need to this this. Can we stop this goddamn battle music, please, for the love of Christ? There we go. Ugh. Jeremy Zoll, mate, I, I, I'm a big fan of your soundtracks, but your Neverwinter Nights stuff uh, was not your best, let me be honest. What enemies? Give over. Probably some bloody spiders lurking in a corner somewhere, actually. Um, now, am I resting? I don't know. Uh, do I need to be resting right now, actually, as a matter of fact? Um, I want to test something. So, concentration, heal, cloud kill, now. Oh, now I need to rest. I want to see if this affects friendlies. If it doesn't, I'm going for cloud kill, I think. If it does, then um, I might not go for cloud kill. I'm going for something else instead. Possibly the dire bear. Um, 
Although I tell you what, the dire wolf's been doing pretty good so far. But dire bear, guys, dire bear. Oh, he's like this big. Seriously, the thing's massive. Um. Alright, summon a test, an additional test subject, I'm afraid. That's what you're going to be. Um. Because I, I thought fireballs would affect friendlies, but um, they don't. So I'm curious about this. Um, you know, I should use Ice Storm and the damn spiders every now and again as well. Instead of just fireball all the time. But I do love fireball though, you know. Anyway, um. Cloud kill. Wait, what? Why would I let me. Right. Ooh. He does not affect us. Interesting. Most interesting. You only get three uses. However. Ooh, I don't know now. This or the dire bear? Barry the bear is very tempting, I gotta admit, especially since we're hunting bloody golems at the minute. Oh, dude. See, if I, if I got, unlock the dire bear, I wouldn't have to use this anymore, which would mean I could do more haste and more fireballs as well, in addition. Cloud kill is really something. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, you know what? We're going with, we're going with the dire bear. We're going with the dire bear. The dire bear is good against everything. The cloud kill is not. So, um, that's, that's as simple as it gets. We're going with the dire bear. Marry the bear. Folks. Although. Uh oh. We might not have an option, folks. I know we do. Phew. Oh. Um, okay. Next time I level up, we get to level 11. Assuming we get to a level, level 11 at some point by the time we finish this game. Um, then I'll get Cloud Kill. Um, however, it's going to be the Dire Bear this time. Maybe not as exciting, but trust me, the Dire Bear is freaking awesome. Um... You empty quick slot. Sign spell. Rest. The dire bear is really something else, folks, and it will work against anything, including golems and other things which are beefy and have spell immunity. So, the dire bear is honestly a no-brainer. As amazing as cloud kill is, especially cloud kill combined with web. That was the old balance gate trick. I remember being amazing. Um. Alright, say hello to Barry in his ultimate form. Oh, behold! The mighty Barry. Barry the Bear. Barry the Bear has 24 strength, 13 dexterity, 19 constitution, 3 intelligence, 12 wisdom, 10 charisma, 8 armor class of 18, 102 hit points, 3 different attacks. 2 to 8, 2 to 16, 2 to 2, 2 to 8, 1 to 16, plus 7 for all of them, critical 20 times 2 damage. Fortitude save of 12, which will make, which will be pretty useful against poison. Um, reflex of 9, will 5. Um, he's pretty great, he's pretty great. And that's before I've buffed him with haste and bull strength. At which point he becomes a killing machine without equal almost. Um, so yeah. Welcome aboard, Barry the Bear. Almost as, you take almost, up almost as much room as me when I'm an Umber Hulk. I mean, good lord. Alright. Let's continue our hunt for the golems. Which, of which there are five remaining, amazingly. I'm, I feel like we're running out of places for the golems to be flipping while hiding. Okay, now I'm going to 
ready for spider ambushes because they are they are a coming. Actually, there might be one in there. Golem, I mean. Yep, close the door. Where are you going, Colin? Oh, you fucking idiots. Aggro with all the beetles. Alright, we done? Didn't need that, guys. Thanks very much. Um, right. Same procedure. But witness the power of this fully operational dire bear who is constantly <laughs> aggroing beetles. Come back here. Come back here. Frickin' beetles! Stop it! You're ruining my plans! I'll go ahead and attack Neris. So now Colin's down. For God's sake. This is a disaster! Bloody beetles! Ugh. Right. Are we done now? Are we done with the beetle spam? Good heavens. Uh, I can't resummon Colin now, unfortunately. I can't rest either because there's a golem right there. Um, so. Just have to be me and the bear, which I think should be more than enough. But, you know. Also, switch the cloaks around. Second. You know what? That doesn't actually seem to upgrade our armor class. Yeah, because we've got multiple item stacking. Uh, all right. Well, I might think about selling that. Honestly, I bet. But I bet people have been yelling at me about that for at least several episodes now already. But hey, um, who, who gives a damn, really? Um, I could give it to Deacon. Could give it to Deacon. I could give it to Deacon. On the other hand, I could keep it, and it would allow me to. I would still be able to keep AC 18 while wearing something other than the amulet of natural armor, the ring of protection. So forget it. Um, I'm keeping it. Damn it. Um, anyway, so what was I doing? I believe I was doing haste next, wasn't I? Haste, please. Don't just talk. Don't try and talk to the bear. Buff it, please. Thank you. All right. And now, actually, you want Deacon? I want you to use your bard song. Oh, he wants to hear Deacon sing. Deacon gladly sing for Vera Blake. Good. And pull him off. All right, we're ready for you, Mr. Mr. Golem. The Vera Hulk is coming. I'll put you in your place. Um, Mr. Dire Bear, would you like to come in and fight as well? Good. I'm glad you decided to join me. Out of curiosity, no, 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 no. Strength 26, yeah. I should point out, by the way, the Shield Guardian is absorbing damage, and we are still doing lots to it. It's already near death. There you go. Didn't even need Colin. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by beetles. Witness the power of this fully operational dire bear. Um, look at that. Look at that strut. He needs the Bee Gees playing in the background right there. I think you're liking the the Umber Hulk form a little too much, Vera. You seem a little too comfortable with it. Anyway. <laughs> playing as a sorcerer is so much fun. <laughs> anyway. Um, 
I said before that I should have played as a fighter or, or, or a cleric or something. I take that back. I totally take that back. It's nowhere near as fun. Um, right. Anyway. So. Is it probably... Oh, there's another one in there. All right, then, well. Um, I guess we'll haste again, right? Got a few more uses of it to go. One for you as well, Deacon. Don't leave you out. Give us your bard song. And we'll polymorph again. We're off to fight the golems. Do 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 Oh, it's injured already. Good. Badly wounded. Good. You are no match for us, Shield Guardian. You are no match for us at all. <laughs> Even slightly. Wow. We barely took any damage. The City of Shadows. Yeah, we already found that one. Some gold. Not bad. And a desk containing more gold. Alright. I think we might want to rest at this point, though. I've expended a lot of spells. A lot of spells indeed. We wouldn't be able to take another golem with the current spells we have now, so. Where's Deacon gone? Probably in the corridor where I can't see him. There he is. There you are, Deacon. All right. Welcome back, Bear. Any yeah, I said welcome back, Bear. Thank you. There we go. And now that our explosion continues, we haven't had any spiders for a little while now, so you know what that means. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? You, you, you eight-legged gits. <laughs> 